Hi, welcome everyone back to the Cardinal Coaching Solutions Podcast. Wes Gow here. I'm so excited to be here with you on almost the eve of October. Wow, that's hard to believe. It is a gorgeous day here in the Mid-Atlantic, and I'm happy to report that September has actually been unseasonably cool. Typically here, September is basically August part two, so (laughs) there's very little relief uh, from the summer heat, but this has been really a welcome change, and it's been wonderful. Fall is just, for me anyway, for us and my family, my wife and I in particular, we love fall. It's a really exciting time for us. There's change. There's just this sense of change in the air. Things are happening. Uh, actually, in some ways, things are ceasing from happening. There's less daylight, the leaves are falling, the trees, many of them are making their adjustments and their preparations. So there's there's kind of this natural uh, rhythm and cycle of letting go, which is a little bit about what I want to share with you today. Just some really interesting, again, like th- this platform, these uh, videos and podcasts are really just my opportunity to share my leading growth edges and just what I'm learning. And so I had a really interesting uh, episode period of learning here recently that I want to share with you about. But first, I want to start by sharing uh, a couple resources, one uh, of which is not my own creation. You'll hear me reference this book. Uh, for those of you listening on the podcast, I'm holding this book up on the uh, the video. I'll put a link to it here. I've mentioned this book many times. This is a Uh, a desert island book for me. It's Transitions, Making Sense of Life's Changes. The author is William Bridges. It is, I can't say enough about it. I've already said enough about it. If you've been a listener, you've heard me say this before. I'm just holding up my copy. If, If my bookshelf were on fire, if I walked out and saw my bookshelf on fire, I would absolutely rescue this copy. It is, uh, again, I'm holding it up here for the video. But 90% of the book, and even this video isn't even doing it justice, it's all dog-eared and marked up. Uh, I was reading from it this morning and came across some passages that were so profound for me. Um, But actually, even in the intro here, just referencing the changing of seasons, the letting go, uh, that's that's some language from this author, William Bridges. And um, man, I can't say enough about it. So I highly recommend getting it. It reads like ancient life wisdom. The other resource is one of my own making. You heard me, um, I think I referenced this in the last episode, but it's called the One Word Journal. So long story short, in my own journaling practice, I found myself just journaling words, just single words that had a lot of energy and resonance for me. Words like allow, resurrect, bury, follow, found. Again, th- these are uh, these are words for me that carry um, just a lot of weight. Uh, nurture, foster, create, cultivate. I would just I would just journal columns of these words because of their energy. And I found myself thinking, man, I really wish I could find a journal that just had words like this on the page nothing else no quote no lines no date markers no nothing just something to generate um, thoughts around the energy of these words well of course i couldn't find it there are lots of journals that have like inspirational quotes at the top things like that that's not what i was looking for and so i just made it i just made it i this is through amazon uh kindle direct publishing Um, took me about a week, uh, but I'll I'll flip through it here and you'll see that the pages are blank with the exception of some of these words. Manifest, serve, grieve, claim, uh, release, bind, trust, embrace, discard, risk. Yeah, there's no linear component to this journal. Uh, It's not meant to be a specific methodology. It's just blank pages, nice, good pages, with the exception of uh, these words. Um, And so this is just a blank copy that I got. Um, I've got my own copy over there 
next to my journal that I use every morning. I really, really enjoy it. So if that's something that uh, could be of interest to you or someone you know, I'll put a link in the show notes here. Of course, you can just find it on Amazon, The One Word Journal. So hope that's helpful to you. Um, All right, I wanna talk to you about, uh, again, what I've referenced this time of year, this changing of seasons, and and particularly in this seasons there, or in this particular change, there is this, there's this letting go. I had this offering through my, my own coaching practice in Cardinal Coaching Solutions that uh, there was a time that I was really excited about this. Um, I, I still am very excited about it. I have a lot of energy around it. I can see it happening. And yet, guys, as we all know, 2020 has asked a lot of us, uh, a lot from us. It has changed so many things out from underneath us. Um, I, I can't even imagine what what so many of you are going through or what your stories are. I would love to hear them. For me, there was this particular offering that if it was going to go into the next stage of being activated, I needed I, I needed um, I need reservations. I needed um, uh, signups very quickly, like within a month or something. And I just, I hadn't given a whole lot of energy to this because I guess a few reasons. One, uh, like all of us listening here, there's been mental bandwidth that just hasn't been there. Mental bandwidth, emotional bandwidth, um, uh, just other life coping and survival that has been put at the forefront, uh, that has been prioritized. And so this particular package and offering came back on my radar and I'm thinking, yeah, I need... If that's if that's going to get legs this time around, I really need to pump some energy to, into it. And yet, I found myself with this really, I don't even know how to describe it, almost alarm, but like if I had to really get honest with myself and go, I, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling the energy. I'm not feeling the motivation to try to push this package this time across the finish line and in activation mode but i felt really confused by that is that me quitting uh shouldn't i you know just do everything possible i just had a lot of confusion around this particular package and I've been going for walks lately. I mean, I, I think it's been, well, of course, some of it's been the work from home and I just need to get out. But um, some of it's also just been the, this time of year. Like I said, it's been really pretty here. After dinner or something, when the kids are gonna, in a good place or in the mornings when I'm in between calls, I'll just take a walk. And so I've been walking around my neighborhood trying to get just mental space, drop into heart space around what is it around this package for me. And that's when I referenced or was reminded of, again, I'm holding up this copy of my copy of Transitions, this time of year and the letting go and the becoming. And one of my biggest takeaways from this book, Transitions, was this this reality that development, and I've mentioned this before uh, on the show, but development when we think of human development it's at least i often think about it in the context of adding to it is that and yet development d that prefix right there development gives you a clue that becoming is just as much about letting go as it is adding on to again that's that's language from the book. I'm not claiming that, but it was really powerful. And I found myself asking, okay, Wes, if this package that you envision, in order for it to become, because you envision it becoming, you can see it manifested. In order for that to happen, in order for this to become what is it asking you to do right now? In order for this to become, 
What is it asking you to let go of? That landed for me. In order for this to become, what is it asking you to let go of? And the first thing that came to my mind was, I got to let go of the urgency. I got to let go of my foot has to be on the gas pedal of this thing. I have to find a way to push it across the finish line and generate uh, reservations. And no, it's ironically, it's a paradox. In order for this to become, it's asking me in this moment, in this season, it's asking me to let go of the urgency. Even as I say that, I feel, again, I feel the same way I did when I first had this thought weeks ago. I feel permission. I feel relieved. I feel released. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of, I can see even out my window right now, you know, over the line of my computer here, I see some leaves beginning to turn. In order for new growth to happen months from now when spring arrives, that tree out there has to let go of what it has. That's the way it works. And yet it's a paradox for many of us. And I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if that's entrepreneur psyche or American bootstrap mentality. I, I don't know. And it's not all wrong. I'm certainly not saying that. I really had to kind of check myself and say, is that what I'm hearing? Is that the right thing for me? Or do I need to persevere and power through and grit and determination? And yes, all of those things. But in this moment, what I felt the most in fact, the first positive energy around was that truth of let go of the urgency. It'll become. It will become. Because you can see it. But right now, it's asking you to let go of the urgency. And I did. I did. I pulled the plug on it. It doesn't exist right now. It will I truly believe that it will, but for this particular place in time, that was a really, really valuable learning experience for me. Again, as a, as a starter, a creator, it was really freeing to hear, just from my own place and context, I'm not saying this applies to everyone all the time, it was really freeing for me to hear, let it go. Let it go for this time. Wow. Yeah. Maybe this lands for you. Maybe there's something you've been pushing really hard on and 2020 pushed back. <laughs> oh, Lord, did it ever push back. But for one reason or another, it hasn't happened yet. Whatever that is you envision. In order for that thing to become, what is it asking you to let go of? Your answer might not be the same as mine. What is it asking you to let go of? Maybe you have other endeavors. Maybe you got lots of irons in the fire and maybe the thing that comes to you is, I need to let go of some of these other things. I don't know. But if it's something you want to talk about, those are the kinds of conversations that I'm on the edge of my seat about. I love them. That's my sweet spot, my zone of genius, if you will. That's where I love to be. So anyway... I'm sharing that with you, hoping it's valuable for you. I uh, cannot recommend transitions highly enough. Um, and once again, here's uh, my resource, the One Word Journal. If you get a copy, let me know. I'd love to know how it sits for you and if you find it helpful. All right, take care. We will do this again soon.